It's Kyle Bear, the voice of Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. Fight you? No, I'm gonna kill you. And you're watching Pretty Brown and Nerdy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jasmine here and we're gonna talk about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite today. Ooh. Recently they released a demo on PlayStation Network and I took this as my opportunity to really see if the game is as bad as we all think it's gonna be. E3 was in Los Angeles and they covered a whole bunch of games that will be being released soon. One of them being Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and I was watching the trailer I was highly disappointed. Now I don't want to sound like one of those people that just sees a video or a snippet of something and just says oh I'm not playing it forget it. I decided I was gonna give it a chance and so I downloaded the demo and I played it and I was disappointed. Let me just say that the overall story and premise is a huge garbage disposal of Infinity War. This entire game plot seems like they're centering it a lot around Infinity War. Because the movie is coming out soon, I think they just totally want to aim toward people becoming more interested in the movie or the overall premise of Infinity War in itself. Fighting style wise, I did like the fighting style of the game. It was fluid and solid. The team pairing was pretty much traditional Marvel versus Capcom. Developers, you know, promised us that this was going to be a more simplified, advanced version of Marvel versus Capcom while still maintaining the hardcore and complex elements of past Marvel versus Capcom games which I highly disagree. It did not have anything that really screamed Marvel versus Capcom to me. The character roster in itself is a huge disappointment. I feel like this Marvel versus Capcom game is completely oversaturated with Marvel characters. I rarely saw any versatility and Marvel vs. Capcom has always been known for its huge character roster and this game was missing. It was lacking entirely. No X-Men characters, all of the Street Fighter characters were practically gone, no original characters. I mean the, the selection to choose from was just lacking to me. Now let's get into the animation. The animation is so bad. The characters look so disproportionate, especially having like such bulky bodies on top and then their lower body just looks really awkward. Dante, Chun-Li, why does it look like they came out of a PlayStation 2 Tekken game? If you were to put the te old school Tekken graphics right next to the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite graphics, you wouldn't even be able to tell if they're two separate games. A lot of the cutscenes contain heavier 3D than inside, you know, in-game scenes. It's just very bad. I have no other words to say other than that. I feel like they should have went the route of Guilty Gear at least with the character animation. I think that would have looked 10 times better, but that's just me. I honestly don't see this game being very successful. A lot of the fans and Marvel vs. Capcom fans like myself have not been very receptive toward the game. You have a few that enjoyed it, but for the most part, it's lacking. I feel like this was a huge missed opportunity on their part. EVO is such a big competition, but I feel like honestly we're just going to see mainly Guilty Gear and Dragon Ball there. I don't think Marvel vs. Capcom is going to take the spotlight this time, I'm sorry. I honestly foresee a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom fans purchasing the new Dragon Ball Z game. That tends to be where a lot of fans are gravitating toward and honestly I don't blame them. This is very sad to me considering that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is one of my favorite Marvel vs. Capcom games of all time. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 had one of the most expansive character rosters. So many different characters to choose from, so many teams to pair. It was peak Marvel vs. Capcom in my opinion. They really need to go back in time and look at previous successes that they've had and try to apply that to any other Marvel vs. Capcom game if they even make one in the future, honestly. 
So what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite game? Did you play the demo? What did you think of it? Leave a comment below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All the links will be in the description below. And I will see y'all on the next video. Dante, hmm? out of ammo. Can the ladies come out to play? For you, Rocket, anything. Be good. Ebony, ivory, care to dance?